Hi guys, Jeff Garage Maker Guy here. About to do some work on the slot car track, on the scenery. So this time we'll actually be getting some things done and hopefully I'll provide some useful information to the slot car community and uh, all of the subscribers and everybody else that watches this stuff. So we're gonna be building up um, Oh, uh, probably not the final layer. I'm probably going to have to do one more layer of foam. But uh, in this video, we're probably just going to go over, um, you know, kind of the process that I've figured out uh, on how to deal with foam and what the what's going on and how to use foam. Um, as I've said in earlier videos, I did that and that scenery and that stuff over there using the plaster cloth from Woodland Scenics. Um, I've worked with that be before, it works very well, but I wanted to try something new. So, went with the XPS foam, just the standard like foam that's used for insulation. Um, it's completely ridiculously expensive to have it shipped to your home um, just because of its size. So, uh, if you're going to pick this stuff up, go to Lowe's or Home Depot and get it. It's, it's not terribly expensive. Um, I use a 2-inch thick, which is, in this case, it's purple. It comes in different colors depending on where you buy it from. And then I've got this, which is 1-inch thick. So, the basic steps of doing this, once you've got your, um, your idea down and, and you know what you're going to be doing, um, you basically have to cut and then and for cutting this is what I have found to be the best tool it cuts very quickly and what I have is a it's a cordless uh, saber saw and this and you can see it this is a special saw blade that's designed for cutting insulation um, or foam and it works very well it's made by Fest tool and I'll include a link in the description, but let's see if I can zoom in here. So you might, may or may not be able to see that, um, but it cuts like butter and you'll see that in a minute. So once we get our pieces cut, we need to glue them together to build up the height that we need. And I use Styro Goo from the Hotwire Foam Factory. Works great. And then after that's dried and you have your your built up foam then you want to shape it the initial shaping is done with the hot wire foam factory um, um, sculpting tool I guess that's what it's called and that works very well you need to basically turn it all the way up and it it cuts very quickly make sure you do this in a well ventilated area the fumes are probably not good for you and they stink really bad after we get done building them all, up all the layers, we get our initial shape done. Then we're gonna go over it with sandpaper files, um, hot knives, other tools to really get the contours down. And ultimately, we're gonna coat the foam in a hard shell coating um, that'll, that'll you know, help protect the foam from getting dented, damaged, and prepare it for the all of the terrain, the, the, the flocking, the earth tones, the, the grass, and all of those things. So uh, this will be the first time using this product. Um, and this is the uh, all-purpose foam coat from the Hotwire Foam Factory. They make another one um, that's designed for outdoor use. Um, but uh, I think this will be good. Uh, it's paintable and I think it'll be fine for indoors. I'm not uh, running my track outside in the rain or anything like that. So, anyway, let's get started.
All right, so that's the third layer. Okay, so this is the piece that we just cut. And we're gonna basically glue this down here to get the height that we need. I'm gonna probably have to add another layer on top of this, but let's go ahead and do some styro goo. And, you know, you don't need to use a lot. And the thing about styro goo is that your hot knife can cut it easily um, because other glues, although they'll keep the styrofoam stuck together, they harden to almost plastic and it'll make your, your hot knife uh, struggle to get through it. And that's not what we want to do. So you just put a little bit on both sides. You don't have to be neat. And this doesn't have to be positioned perfectly. The only thing you really want to do is if you're building your scenery in sections like I am, it's important to make sure where the sections join that you have enough material so you don't have a huge gap. Even if you have a gap, it's not a big deal. So this thing's glued. So we're just gonna throw a couple of weights on here and let it sit for a bit. That's about it. All right, so we've got the initial uh, forming done, and it's starting to look better, I think. Um, so all of this will be coated with the foam coat, pretty thick, um, but uh, we still have a little bit of the contouring, sculpting, whatever you want to call it, to do, but uh, it's... Uh, starting to look uh, the way it's supposed to. So, anyway, that's about it for this step. We'll get on to the next one shortly. <laughs> 